Mwah! It's good to be back. Muchos besos, everyone. I love you, we love you. Horror Vision 2020 is back. I had to take a little hiatus. I left Tommy high and dry for a few weeks, but I had to go see my family in Michigan, decompress from Los Angeles, golf, and just enjoy the beauty that there is to be seen there. I love it. Can't wait. The next guest is also from Michigan. She does currently reside in Las Vegas, and she does Tommy's hair. So if you ever wonder why Tommy's hair is so beautiful, vibrant, and matches the backdrop, this upcoming guest is the reason why. And that is just amongst many things that she's doing. Right now, she is in the running for the Maxim Cover Girl of the Year. There are eight contestants left, and if you don't know how it works, it's done through voting. Uh, one side is Facebook, which we're going to put in the link. What we want you to do is go and support her because we love her. She is gorgeous and beautiful, and she deserves this. And if you go to Facebook, you can uh, go and vote. We'll put the link in there. I think I already said that. Vote a free vote every day, every hour, and just keep on voting. But another crucial thing that is important to her and us is the uh, you can. There's a link below that that you can go and support the Wounded Warrior Project. So donate one dollar, five dollars, a hundred dollars. It doesn't matter. Supporting our veterans is a huge thing for us, all three of us, and she really wants to do that as part of her thing. So if you go in there, you know, you're helping a veteran that fought and served for our country and came home and isn't quite getting the uh, care that they need because they're disabled or they've been wound, obviously been wounded, paralyzed, whatever it might be, this helps them live the most beautiful life they can live back here in the States. So go and do that. Vote for this very beautiful young woman. We love her. Mwah! More pesos to her. So let's get to it. An interview with a little bit of horror, a little bit of that, a little bit of what's going on. Coronavirus. But check it out. Help us all out. Do it. We love you all. Here we go with the beautiful Jessica Carter. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, it's so great to be back caressing all of you guys. Woo! Hello, Jessica. It's Jessica hey. Carter for Horror Vision 2020. Hello. Oh, you do it. You know, this is Jim Lewis. My Let me make sure I'm connected to the right. Hi there. Hold on, I'm checking something. Okay, he's frozen. Why did it switch? <laughs> That's why. Turn it off. Yeah. Okay, ready? Can I ask her some questions now? <laughs> so we're gonna put this up real quick. So we're not gonna do a lot of editing. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try not to, you know. But we're friends, so you know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Can I start or not yet? You can start. I think my internet's back. Oh, was, why are you doing was... it that way? Well, so you can see. I see. <laughs> All right. Your face now. All right, should we do it the other way for this interview? <laughs> yeah, I know you got all dressed up. I love that necklace. Thank you, Amazon. Amazon. And I love the chair with the brick fireplace. That's beautiful. Oh, thank you. That's my dining room. <laughs> oh, that's okay. awesome. Awesome, awesome. So I want to welcome you to Horror Vision 2020. But, and you have been a friend of mine for a long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, yes, you dated my little brother a long time in the past, but, uh, <laughs> but I kept you, so my mom, the fa our family kept you, my whole family kept you, so <laughs> we collect people, so, but one of the main reasons, I think, was because of your love of horror, yes, you know, <laughs> I know people can't see your tattoos, but they're all these cool little, like, uh, mashups. Of like, oh, hi. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm doing a Zoom thing. If you, yeah. That's okay. So where are you living now? Because you're from um, Michigan. Where are you living now? So I live in Las Vegas, like right, like central, two miles maybe from the strip at most. So really close to everything. Cool. Yeah. I would like to hear your, your journey on how you became a horror fan. <laughs> <laughs> like what how did it start did you sneak I it? no i think it started in the womb um <laughs> <laughs> good place to start when, <laughs> when we were kids that's what we grew up watching and i thought that it was completely normal i was like kids watch this right but i would have friends come over you know like you'd be like kindergarten first grade whatever your friends start spending the night 
and mine would go home crying. Like they would call the parents and be like, come pick me up. And I'm like, why don't they want to watch people under the stairs? You know, like stuff like that. I'm like, totally thought it was normal. Fast forward a bunch of years. I'm like, oh, I guess it's not, but <laughs> I think I grew up fine. <laughs> yes, you did. Yep. <laughs> yes, because your mom comes to my show too. She loves it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it is so much fun like out of both my parents my mom is definitely the one that is like into it yeah always yeah. always watch i feel like night of the living dead was one of her favorites because i feel like we watch that probably hundreds of times yeah everyone watches that hundreds of times and they're like well yeah. horror fans like us <laughs> yeah. they're good it doesn't matter how many times you watch them so uh, what was the first <laughs> horror movie you saw that you remember um oh shit that's a good question i don't i couldn't even really tell you because i i feel like i'm the same way watched, because i started so little <laughs> yeah I'm like we always watch nightmare on elm street we watched like all of the friday the 13th um like if you needed to rent the lost when the video stores were a thing um if you ever wanted to watch the lost boys in the 90s on a friday you couldn't because i rented it every friday <laughs> <laughs> I was totally into, but it, we, we seriously watched like everything. That's awesome. So yeah. I have this for you today. Yay. I still have it. It's still your favorite, your favorite series, right? Yeah. Hell <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. I even watched the 10th one. I haven't seen it. So <laughs> but it? the one year you missed my show was the year Clive Barker and all the Cenobites were there. I really considered quitting my job um, when that happened. I, I, got, I got denied the time off and I threw a fit. <laughs> <laughs> and it, was, it ended up being a really slow week and I was like, son of a bitch. I could have met all of my favorite people. <laughs> yep. Oh, so man. yep, yep, yep. Well, one of my good friends is uh, Clive Barker's agent, so maybe I can get some stuff for you. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> There you go. Oh, yeah, but for my next for my next hair thing, I'll get some Clive Barker. Yeah. It looks so good. <laughs> yeah, do it. I know it matches my backdrop. It does. I love it. <laughs> yeah. <That's fun>. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's so boring. Oh, no. Well, you That's know. That's why I threw hats and stuff in there. Like, there you go, backdrop. You look cool now. Maybe I'll go back to maybe I'll go back to the red brick. <laughs> yeah, Jim's from Michigan too. Oh, cool. From Cadillac. Where are you, where are you from? Pinckney. And Pigeon. Yeah. Your mom lives in Pigeon, right? Yeah, yeah. You said, I used to go camping. I don't know what lake it was over in Pinckney. There's a, there's a lake, a campsite over there. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I grew up on Rush Lake, but it was mostly, um, there, there's like a golf course and a couple of boat launches, but that was pretty much, there wasn't a lot. Actually. Your your roommate, she she was telling me how she went out there and she said there's nothing. She there's <laughs> nothing there. Yeah. yeah, I took her to Pigeon and I was like, we're gonna spend one night here. I was like, it's it's so small, it's actually a village. <laughs> and so we spent one night there and then I took her to Traverse City. Yeah. And um yeah, so I mean it's so pretty there. It's so so pretty. And like we went downtown, we stayed on the lake, it was super nice. Cool. Sleeping Bear Dunes? Yeah. No, we're not really outdoorsy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. She's a, you're a bartender at Link, is it the Link Hotel, right? Yeah, that's where I work. But the name of the, the bar is? 3535. Is that the address or something? It okay. is. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> Not the most creative. See you on August 21st. Story. <laughs> I'll be in Vegas in August, at the end of August. Maybe we'll swing okay. by. Oh, open. Oh, yeah. They're not now. open, yeah. <laughs> but you can go see her new house and take pictures for me because, well, they're getting it redone, as you can see. Oh, yeah. I know. I just told everybody, I'm like, you got to be quiet. For They're working on pulling out walls and replacing windows and stuff. So I was like, just be quiet for like a few minutes, please. You should have just <laughs> built the whole house. Like, tore, tore it down and rebuilt <laughs> Essentially, that's what we're doing. It's everything is getting like redone. So by the end of it, like the structure will still be here, and like the general, uh, like feel of the house will be the same. But everything is getting updated, and it looks gorgeous. Yeah, but you have a great location. Oh yeah, like the oh. best location. That's awesome. 
yeah so that, that's where i stay when i go because i've never actually been to vegas she drove me on the strip oh yeah <laughs> that was oh, it. the last when time I, you when i say i'm going to vegas everyone thinks it's this i'm just going to jessica's house <laughs> yeah. i don't I really like do the grandma. downtown anymore either i'm i'm gonna be staying in henderson at my buddy's place he actually lives in Vegas, but we're going to be uh, his parents' house. They're in Michigan right now. So I used to Cost, live there. Costas lives there, right? Costas Mandalore? Yeah, Costas Mandalore. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> Maybe I'll hit him up. I'll be like, yo, Costas, you want to go get a drink? Remember me? <laughs> yeah, Josh Brolin. He, we did an interview with Costas Mandalore. He's from one of the, the Saw movies and stuff. Uh-huh. And uh, he kept saying that he looked just like Josh Brolin. Like the whole time he kept saying it over and over. Must have been like his blown away. Like, <laughs> look at you doing it. <laughs> I don't see it, but hey, I'll take it. Yes. <laughs> I I shaved my beard. I had a big beard at the time. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's nice. He looks all nice and trim. He got a haircut. Yeah. Actually, Never. no, we got our hair done at the same time. He was getting his haircut when I was getting my hair done. <laughs> okay. I don't yeah. have much to cut though, so Tommy's Tommy takes some time. Me, fifteen minutes out the door. Get out of here. Twenty bucks. <laughs> I, I couldn't even imagine what your hair would look like if, if we did your hair in 15 minutes. I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> it, would, yeah. it wouldn't work. It wouldn't, yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> just gotta get a throw, to get as I'm out. running by, just throw some dye at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you're, up, you're doing this Maxim competition, and yeah. I'm very excited about it. So do you, have you been a model before? Okay, so when I was like 17 turning 18-ish, I, I tried it out for a few months. I did not have my look together. Like I had a pretty awful haircut um, and I was, you know, just over a hundred pounds and, you know, that it just, I hadn't grown in my body yet. So <laughs> uh, I, I tried, I like went to, like in Michigan, they have um, the talent shop, Productions Plus, I group all of that and yeah I just could not my hair was too short because I cut all my hair off and they were like oh yeah no that's <laughs> a day you know so I was like all right that, that's fine and I actually had tried out for America's Next Top Model like twice I think and didn't make it um and then I was like you know I, I'm just gonna whatever I'll just focus on going to school and call it a day um, and I had a friend, his name is Nick, he asked me a few years ago, uh, me, him, and his wife all did ballroom dancing at the same studio, and he asked me if I would want to do, like, a Halloween shoot with him oh. a few years back, and I was like, well, yeah, of course, I love Halloween, so we did, like, a Freddy Krueger, um, like, themed one, and, like, one where, like, blood was just dripping down, and it was super fun. And then I put it on hold for a long time because I was like, I'm not really doing this. Like, this isn't my, this isn't my job, you know, whatever. It was for fun. And uh, yeah, I, mean, I, kinda, I thank uh, you. For, I thank you for putting it on hold because I wouldn't have this from my Aveda trained hairstylist. <laughs> 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 and now you still get to live your dream and do these things. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So now I just kind of do everything. You have all these skills now. So that's good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, oh yeah, he's, he's a bartender too. Oh, he nice. bartends at Islands, right? Yeah, Shane. I think oh, there's one in Vegas. Now, right? <laughs> I feel like there is. I feel like I've seen like the logo of it before. Oh yeah, it's like a chain. So yeah. Yeah. Okay, nice. Easy breezy though. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a Bahama breeze like <laughs> <a> flight. <laughs> yeah. Right? The hours before coronavirus, the hour, like everything about it was a lot easier because working in clubs and stuff for me, being an actor and auditions and everything, if I was up till four in the morning, I was, it was just too tired. Like every morning I'd be like, oh, what the hell? Stay after, have drinks with everybody till five, you know, get <laughs> yeah. so like, what the fuck was I doing? Yeah. So closing at 11 o'clock per was perfect for me. Now I hate it because coronavirus sucks. <laughs> yeah. So what has, what has changed in your life since coronavirus? Um, so, I don't know, I guess kind of a lot. I, uh, the last day that I worked was the last day that anybody could get officially open um, before the pandemic hit. So I worked my first and probably only graveyard shift on St. Patrick's night. So 
the 18th, essentially. Uh, weirdest shift I ever worked. I was the only bartender in the building. It was me and my bar back. We were just sitting around like, well, this isn't weird. <laughs> so uh, after that, like I, I spent a, probably like three months trying to figure out kind of what to do to fill my time because I'd always been working at the bar and then doing hair. And then, you know, I would do uh, dancing sometimes and it was just like I always had a filled schedule so okay let's just let's just clarify for everybody you're a ballroom dancer yeah, yeah. <laughs> I understand um, dancing is something else sometimes so that's why I just want to clarify it's something else you know I and they're all beautiful I those ladies are so strong but yeah I'm a ballroom dancer it's very just like Fred Astaire yeah, yeah. I actually that's it's where beautiful. I, I love I love to watch when you do the competitions. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's the stu- I danced at that studio for years, and it's so great. Those people there are awesome. Yeah. I just didn't want anyone to get the wrong idea. Not that that's a bad job, but, you know, you're in yeah. Vegas, and you say dancer. I just want to. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, I just, I ended up doing just, like, a little bit of, like, I tried doing puzzles and art projects and reading and you know whatnot but like now I feel like I've had more things to focus on because I started doing this the whole maxing competition so now I've been doing more shoots and just really like reaching out to people and I've been doing hair now more because the stores that I get my supplies from are now open again so now I'm getting my getting my girls back in god I had like the scariest roots for a long time and <laughs> my girlfriend Corinne does my hair and I was like oh my god I don't know what I'm gonna do if I can't get my hair done my eyelash extensions were I felt like a bald eagle it was like a mess <laughs> yeah like this is my life now I guess I'm just gonna look like, <laughs> but then, all, like then the, maxim shoot, the maxim shooting now you have to get ready so you have to figure out a way to get ready. <laughs> yeah. luckily the salons are now open so you know, I'm able to get my lashes done. I'm able to get my nails done. Like all of these things that are, you know, so vanity driven, but so Im- important to like build that whole look. So I was very thankful that we were able to do that again. Yes. And your look is beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely. So, I mean, it's pretty exciting, like this whole Maxim thing for you. And like, yeah. you know, you're, there's two, there, it's up to two girls. Is that correct? You two, both of you guys? There's eight. So there, there's, there's eight? Yeah. There's eight. So it started with over 30,000 and now it's the very last round and there are eight of us. I keep flipping back and forth, second to first, second to first. Um, the important thing is really that Thursday at eight o'clock Pacific Standard Time, so 11 for the people back in Michigan, um, that I'm in first. Because whoever is first down to the last second is like, right. it's for all. So don't let anyone snipe the auction <laughs> snipe it or try to do it, try to get it from you at the last minute, you know, and yeah. ton of money. So, yeah. It's so important because it's like every vote counts, like literally every single vote counts and it has, it's added up so much. And I feel like from everybody, like we've raised so much money for the wounded warriors. So yeah. Awesome. Even that, like even that's something just to be proud of, like, everybody out there help and it's pretty incredible yeah and i know people that have benefited from wounded warriors it's a great organization yeah so, <laughs> it's good so how does that how does that work the, the, so again, like, you the way that it works it's super easy actually because if you do um through through my maxim website um if you click on it then the the first vote you can do is through facebook and it's free and then immediately underneath it, it says, you know, but you can do more. So the uh, warrior vote is a dollar a vote, um, except for on two for one days, you get two votes for a dollar. And the money goes to uh, Jared Allen's Home for the Wounded Warriors. And essentially, it's just modifying and making accommodations for people who are permanently wounded, you know, paralyzed, can't get around easily in their home. So all these things that they're doing to make sure that they're actually comfortable in their home. That's awesome. Excellent. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. So we're yeah. going to put up the link for you. We're going to put up this interview today. This is the first time I think we've ever done a interview that we put up the day of. <laughs> but I want everyone to be able to go vote 
for our Michigan girl. <laughs> Because yes, she's doing this for Michigan. Even says right on the thing that you're a Detroiter or from Detroit. Yeah. That's one of the things I was like, I want to make sure people know that I'm that like I do live in Las Vegas, but this is such a transient city. I'm like, but I like home is home is Michigan. So you know, Detroit native. I lived in Metro Detroit for several years, and it's like my favorite place to be. Yeah, I'm and too. of course, during the last weekend of April, it's her favorite place to be. Uh, yeah, she's Motor City there. right here. <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything else going on like in the near future i mean besides maximum you're just kind of focusing on that as it comes down to a thing i mean i know you have some interviews coming up things like that which is pretty cool yeah i have two job interviews today so we'll see how those go it's mostly for like bartending and serving since you can't actually sit at a bar right now so it's they're combining jobs just to create the jobs um so We'll see how that goes but other than that you know i've been trying to just take time to see family because i i'm actually coming back to michigan um in like a week and a half uh, going back to michigan because he's in la with me <laughs> yeah. going back to michigan um my little nephew ashton just graduated college not college high school so we're having his graduation party it's been postponed so finally we get to celebrate his success so yeah you you had your corona <laughs> test right <laughs> oh my god yeah i was like <laughs> <laughs> i just got back from michigan i probably should do another one <laughs> well who knows you know i think i think he already had it but you know <laughs> I, there are a lot of people like we've all talked me and my friends have talked about him we're like remember when we were really sick in the winter maybe that was it but who knows because that's why he was it was a strange sickness that came on fast. That's why. Yeah. Was, yeah. It was there and then it was gone like the wind. Two yeah. days. Oh. Perfect. Easy We're hoping that's what you want. Well, we're not sure. He's not sure. It yeah. was pretty bad, though. I mean, <laughs> I had some residual stuff with my chest for like a couple of weeks, but. Oh. The initial fever was like gone. It, this is in early January because I went to Michigan for Christmas. Right. But they say oh. that it, they, they now think it was here in December. Yeah, it probably, it probably was. So. Who knows? You know. <laughs> yes, but I'm very excited for you. We're going to be watching you and rooting you on. Motor City Nightmares will be rooting you on. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you so much for your time. Is there anything else you want to? Oh, I know what. I am going to see if I can get you some auditions in some of these horror movies that I'm working with. Okay. So, like, I don't know. I'm like, yeah. yeah the hour. <laughs> <laughs> what? I said, if anyone wants to participate in amateur hour. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> no, I think you'll be great. I can practice with you. Okay. <laughs> great. Awesome. It, it's fun because, you know, the horror family yeah. is so small. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's good, good. So thank you so much for your time, and we were, we were rooting for you. Thank you. Got you. Thanks. I'll get to it. It was nice meeting you, and maybe you I'll see you. one of these trips when I go there. Yeah, Maybe things great. will back up. I don't know. We'll find out. But okay. get back to fixing up that house. Yep. And, and if you ever want me to go visit uh, the Malibu house, just yeah. let me know. Okay. <laughs> Magnus, love the pool. Okay. Very good. <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye. Bye. See you later. Woo. Love you. <laughs> <laughs>